Well, this tells the story right now. You can see the raindrops on the camera and the rain falling ahead of it, too. We've got a good rain shower hitting Fargo Moorhead right now, and it's been like this off and on today, and we'll continue to be dealing with those showers in the Southern Valley right now for some time this afternoon. And here's why. You can see on our radar lots of green and yellow showing up on the map here in the southern half or two-thirds of the valley. We do have some rain showers up north, north of Highway 2, but you can see it's a lot more widespread down in the south at this point in time. But you could get more rain pushing into your area in the north this afternoon as well. Let's take a closer look at what's going on. Fargo right in the heart of some of the heavier rain. Yellows and oranges indicate a pretty good rainfall rate happening here. And this is going to continue moving from east to west as it rotates around an area of low pressure. So this is going to hang over the valley probably through our lunch hour, at least uh, into the next uh, half hour or so. So this is going to, again, continue moving west through Cass and Clay Counties, northern Richland County, too. And there's some other pockets of yellow showing up in Becker and, no and Norman County here this afternoon. And you can see what's going on. We've got some swirls here in the radar around an area of low pressure. That's bringing us all of this instability and the wind associated with it, too. And that's just going to continue to influence our weather throughout the day today. It's such a big system. It's going to take a while for it to move out. And so in the meantime, we've got rounds of rain moving in. Breaks for some of us right now. And that'll be the case eventually for Fargo, too. We'll get in a break as well. Our wind speeds are fairly strong. In fact, we've got some gusts that have been getting into the low 30s this afternoon. We're at 31 miles per hour in Langdon and in Devil's Lake. Fargo, not so bad at the moment. We're at 12 miles per hour. That's nothing compared to how strong it's been lately. And visibility is down in a lot of spots. You're seeing some lower visibility out to the west. Not only is there rain, but there's also that fog and mist that's hanging around too with all that moisture in the air that's leading to some areas of low visibility. So keep those headlights on. Keep your taillights on too so people can see you on the roads. Our temperatures 40s to low 50s. We haven't warmed up much since this morning and we'll not warm up much as we head into the afternoon as well. So here's a look at that hour by hour planner. You can see by five o'clock still getting some scattered rain, perhaps not as widespread as what we're dealing with right now. There might even be in our southeastern viewing area a couple of thunder showers that pop up. But overall, we're just looking at some scattered and eventually isolated areas of rain as we head into tonight. And that wind does eventually ease up as well. But you can still see even at midnight, we have a couple of places isolated, but still a couple of spots where we've got some showers. Eventually that does move on. So here's a look at our rainfall potential. This is in addition to what we've seen. And so far there are places in the Southern Valley where we've racked up more than a half inch of rain with this latest round, and we could be adding more to it. Again, we're already doing that in Fargo right now. We're at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So this is through the rest of the day and into tomorrow morning on top of what we've seen anywhere in blue here. That's less than a half inch of rain. So that's good. Not that much more in most places, but there are some spots that might see a little more than a half inch. And now we're going to go ahead in time. Thursday we get a break. And then for Friday we add more rain. And some of us, by the time this is done, could see an additional inch of rain that's anywhere in yellow here. So a lot of moisture in the valley is the bottom line that we're going to be dealing with over the next couple or few days rather. So today the showers continue. The unpleasant weather continues. Thursday we get that break though it may be a little more cloudy tomorrow. And then Friday, another round of all day chances for rain. But the holiday weekend so far still looking good. Some uh, low 70s, upper 60s for Saturday and Sunday. And then for, Mo for Memorial Day, the holiday itself, a little cooler, but our best chance for rain will be on Sunday. And it's not gonna be like today. We're not looking at a complete washout all day long. There'll be some periods where it's dry. So we'll get some good time or good, good amounts of time in of dry weather this weekend, I think. Sounds good, thank you, Lisa. Straight ahead here at